okay, the history of John McAfee is he, throughout he he throughout the eighties and nineties, right? He was he was living large. At some point, I think it was in the nineties, he sold his part of uh, McAfee antivirus to, to Microsoft. He got a hundred million, right? When he should have got billions. And then years later, it was <laughs> worth a ton more. Yeah, right, right. And he was a nut. He, he was a nut. His dad committed suicide. His dad was an alcoholic. He was obviously boozing, doing tons of coke. He was doing all kinds of drugs. The guy was by no means sane. I don't think you can call him sane. Have you watched any of his interviews? No, no, he's, 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 he's absolutely nut. He's absolutely nut. nutty. He, on so, all kinds and, of drugs. And, and a lot of people say he's a fucking yeah. egomaniac on top yeah. of it. Yeah, he's, he's definitely he's narcissistic. So if you're him and it's, and that's the other and thing. it's Narciss 2000. Narcissists don't kill themselves. I'm mm. never, I'm not killing myself. There's right. no way. I'm taking out that's everybody else I can think right, of right. first. That's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, yeah, it's just, that is it's a just good hardly ever happens. That. Sorry, but go go ahead. So I'm Sorry. saying the guy's, he's obviously a fucking egomaniac, and, and he had a problem with drugs, big a big problem with drugs and alcohol, and he was a little fucking loopy, more than a little loopy, right. just judging by his Twitter. So if I'm John McAfee, and I'm, I am depressed, and I am considering suicide, why not just fuck with everybody? Three well, and a half years? With three, to three to five. That's it? Three and a half? Three to five. Okay, I thought it would be way worse. I thought they'd try to make an example out of you and try to like pin you to 20 years well, or something. I mean, if you go to trial, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, can you get 30 years? Yeah, you can. Right. Do nobody, they? nobody takes that nobody, to trial. Nobody's going. Look, if you're if you're just blatantly guilty. Right, especially when your other's just saying, I'm not paying yeah, fucking not gonna, taxes. Right, yeah. You have no trial yeah, case. Yeah, okay, all right. But he did some other scammy shit. He pulled he pulled some Bitcoin scams. He tried he did some Bitcoin pump and dumps where he tried to like esc like like pump right. the price of Bitcoin. But they had, on social they media. I don't think that's not. I think he was indicted for tax evasion though. He it was, was only, indicted it was only for tax evasion. Like they okay. may have superseded. Alex Jones said he was a, a spy. Alex Jones said that he was a spy for a bunch of other countries and doing all kinds of crazy shit. But anyways, my, what I was getting to about about his personality and his kookiness and his drug abuse and shit like that. Right. If I'm him and I do want to kill myself. Why not fucking go crazy and try to fuck with the war, try to fuck with the internet and just make some sort of crazy legacy for myself and say, hmm, maybe I do want, if I do want to kill myself, maybe I'll fucking tattoo on myself whacked and make the whole world think when I go out that I got whacked by the feds. I mean, yes. I why guess not just that. try to troll people and make some sort of legacy out of it? You know right. what I mean? Why try to fuck with people? Because do the feds, like how much do they give a fuck about John McAfee? Mm. I don't know. How much do they really give a fuck? A guy who committed tax evasion and did some Bitcoin pump and dumps? Maybe he's got some info. I, I mean, I mean, he, yeah, that was the other thing he said. He had all this, uh, was it three terabytes or something, whatever, megabytes or whatever those He had some are. info. He had info on corruption and, oh, so what? <clears throat> no, but first right. of all, that, that, that part didn't even like phase me. It's like, oh, come right. on, stop. Yeah, there's this thing. There's this thing called a uh, like he's like he's Raymond Reddington from the Blacklist. Like he's got <laughs> like I'm gonna expose the cabal. Yeah, what, what's the term? There's a term for people who uh, who uh, it's like a uh, I forget what the fucking word is, but it's basically like a term for like when a suicide bomber, like you, like a suicide bomber comes in and if someone shoots you, you let go of the trigger and you, everyone gets oh, fucking it's a, killed. it's a dead man switch. A dead man switch. Yes. A dead man switch. So that's like what he what he kind of had like was a that. dead man switch. Mm -hmm. So if he got a, if he got a bullet, if he got killed, the switch would go off, and all of the info, all the shit that he would have, and everyone would get released. Right? Where, where is it? Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's what they say about Epstein too. Like, why wouldn't he have a dead man switch? Because he wasn't. He didn't have anything, and he killed himself. So. Mm. Oh, Epstein, I think. Can, how, I, I think he I killed think, himself. Who, no, Epstein. You don't think Epstein had anything? I think Come it, on. I'm, um, where is it? I think he killed himself. Yeah. E Epstein, I just can't imagine that you could get into a federal prison. Like, a lot of guys are like this. Look, so, I, I've, like, Zach was telling, we were arguing, um, and it was, the argument was, he was saying, well, why not just wait till he gets back here, right? And kill him back here, because it's easier to get to him in a Spanish prison, and then there's an investigation in a Spanish prison, and how much do they give a crap about some American that died right. in a Spanish prison? You get them back here, how are you going to get into the marshal's holdover? Mm -hmm. It's difficult. This is these things are inside of pens, and they're it's not it's it's not it's difficult. What does it say? This? John McAfee tweeted before his death that he stored computer files in a Florida condo building that later what? Scroll down a little bit. That later collapsed. What? Um, this, I've heard this one. I've, is that real? Th this is this. I think this is false news because it's on Politifact. That means it's a fact. 
The name of this website has the word fact in it. Yeah, yeah, it's clearly true. It's undisputable. Does it mean that? Conspiracy theories escalated quickly around the death of technology entrepreneur, entrepreneur John McAfee in a Barcelona prison where he was waiting extradition to the U.S. on tax evasion charges. Spain's El Paris, El Paya, El Pais newspaper reported that McAfee, who developed the first commercial antivirus software, blah, 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 blah. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, Q on. He posted a, a scroll up a little bit. See the Q and on. A June 25th Instagram post appeared to link McAfee's death to June 23 with another major news event, the collapse of a condominium building near Miami the next day. What? The next day? Huh. Yeah. So did know. you see the thing at the top? Look, go right. Stop, stop, stop. See where it says QAnon? Mm-hmm. Right? But rumors link to the uh, baseless QAnon conspiracy theory. Uh, whose followers believe uh, what Democrat yeah, Democrat yeah, yeah. celebrities were involved in an un- underground child trafficking ring? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cover it by QAnon. Often, seen, uh, I don't know. You know what the collapse of the building reminds me. So it's me a QAnon of? theory that he hid the hid the files in that building. That yeah. C- l- listen, listen. Okay, so when I was locked up in 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 uh, was I in the medium? Was I work? Did I work? The- yeah, I was in the medium. When I was in the medium uh, at Coleman, so I worked with this guy. Every day for a year, talk to him at least, you know, five minutes here, you know, like any worker. I worked in the library at one point. So I taught real estate classes. I worked in the library. And then at another point, I, I taught GED. But for like a year or so, I worked in the library. So I see this guy all the time. He's like the head librarian. Nice guy. We're always talking. We talk a little about this, a little bit about that, politics, what's going on. Because at that time, I would watch the news and everything. Totally normal guy. Everything was super normal. Talked about movies, everything. Guy's normal. One day, I happened to say, so you're still, you're still working on your case? He's like, he looked at me and he goes, yeah. Yeah, but uh, after Oklahoma City, I just don't know. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. I mean, I can't get the, 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 the evidence is destroyed. And I went, Oklahoma City? And he looked at me and he goes, Timothy McVeigh <laughs> in Oklahoma City. You know, you know, the Oklahoma City bombs. Yes, of course. Yeah. And I went, what does that have to do with your case? Like this guy knew this guy had been locked up like 20 years, so way before Oklahoma City. Yeah. And, he, and he said, the FBI was storing the evidence in my trial at, at the field office in Oklahoma City. And I said, I thought you're, you were prosecuted out of Orlando. And he's like, I was, but that's where they were storing the files. By the way, that's absolutely not true. That's not where your, store, your, your files are stored. Yeah. Okay, there is no storage in a, in a field office in Oklahoma City. All right, they're stored at the U.S. Attorney's Office or at the FBI at the field office where you're being prosecuted out of, which he wasn't. You ever been to Oklahoma City? No. Why were they stored there? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So he goes. They they he goes. They bombed the the uh, FBI field office and took the building down to destroy my evidence. His evidence. His evidence. So they killed like 30 some odd kids, a bunch of FBI agents, a whole bunch of other people working in the building. Oh. They framed Timothy McVeigh all to destroy your evidence to keep you in prison because you got 30 years. You've already done 20 of it. And you got five left. This guy always seemed normal for a year. Well, how do you know? Maybe he he did, maybe his files were stored there. How do you know? How do you know they weren't? Insane. They are not. You just said he was normal up He's, to the point he said this one thing. Right. He had this. Look, you could talk to Frank Amadeo and have a great conversation with it, with him until – and just happen – you could do it for a year. And then one day you happen upon something and he starts telling you about how he's going to take over the world. Some of these guys have these little tiny little mm-hmm. – it's this little dark, dark room somewhere in their head. <laughs> and one day you're opening up doors and you open that one door and you find out, ah, the guy's insane. That's fucking nuts. He had that one little cra- – that's these – the QAnon guys, but isn't just, there a conspiracy? There is an FBI. I don't. I don't know anything about it, but there is a conspiracy about about the uh, Oklahoma City bombing, right? Except for the fact that when they talked to Timothy McVeigh, he laid out exactly what he did. Yeah. He didn't say I was hired. I was framed. He was saying he's like, yeah, this is what I did. I was. Uh, I was. Uh, I yeah, was, because they fucking brainwashed him with MK Ultra. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> they brainwashed. <laughs> him. This is insane. They fucking, what are you doing? They fucking brainwashed his doing? ass using uh, LSD. Danny's part of QAnon. <clears throat> Listen, I'll, I listen, half the guys on YouTube. Look, I'm spitting facts, are, okay? Are. <laughs>